Hi guys, it's DJ here from Cozy RC and I got a big update on my GeForce Twin Mono Hall. Really excited about this one. The build is progressing great. I just received a lot of hardware for this build. Motor, ESC, coupler. I will also update you on my DIY Stinger drive. Let's start.
What you see here is my twin drive mono build. It's a 33 inch or 850 millimeter long hull. It's basically made from wood, but it's laminated with carbon fiber. The deck is laminated from the outside and the hull itself is laminated from the inside, which I will show you in a bit. It will be powered by two 3670 1850 kV motors from Rocket RC. I got a rocket motor in my wild thing. I was blown away by the performance. I really think these motors are great for the price, so I will put a link in the description. I also ordered another Flycolor 150 amp ESC. I already got one from my wild thing, and since I crashed it, I will just use it in this mono hull. So this is my DIY Stinger drive. I took inspiration from this TFL Stinger drive. This Stinger drive I made from a solid block of aluminium. The Stinger tube will be from carbon fiber. I will put another tube on top of this one, a 10 mm outer diameter tube, which will uh, seamlessly fit with this drive dock. I'm using a turnbuckle to adjust the angle. I will make a separate video on how I made this. I will show you all the details. So stay tuned for that one. So looking from the inside, I laminated all the separate compartments with carbon fiber. It was really a fiddly process because the strands of the carbon fiber easily come loose. So it took me a lot of patience. It's quite difficult to work neatly, but I'm satisfied with the result. I will put the nose section full of pool noodle for the flotation, probably also the side compartments. As I left the bulk heads and also these side ribs, I put uh, very small aluminium tubes in each bulkhead. Two tubes over here for the water to escape in case of uh, water entering the boat. Otherwise it will remain behind the bulkheads and I can never get it out. Also over here you can see I put a small tube and also over here. So the water can just uh, go to here to the center section and then I can easily get it out. These sides are still loose. They are just held by tape now. I will soon glue them to the hole with epoxy thickened with carbon uh, strands. Laminating carbon to these bulk heads was really a pain in the butt. I should have done the lamination before I applied them to the hole. So that was a learning process. I will do that next time. It was really a fiddly process to put back all these cutouts. So next up will be making the motor bracket. I will put the motors here and then the lipo here. And I'm really making up my mind now if I should use one or two lipos. Two lipos will give less stress on the lipo and it will also reduce the current flow through the wires. But two lipos is really quite tight because I also have to fit the speed controllers and they actually would fit nicely on the side here if I use just one lipo. Last but not least, this time's shout out goes to Deepu Shankar from India. He built a cozy F1 with an outboard. I love the colors. Deepu, you did an awesome job. All right, guys, that's it for now. I hope to see you in the next episode where I will put the motors and the drive shafts. So I hope to see you then. Bye.